Hey guys, it's Julian and my dad here. Hey, hey. And my friend Eric. Hi. And we're going to the Apple Store today to do Force Friday, and we will be coding the Star Wars Spiro droids. It's going to be pretty fun. So we're going to get there in a few minutes and enjoy the video. Yeah, so uh, Apple has a whole bunch of free classes, and I'll put the link down below. It's uh, apple.com slash today. And this is what, the third or fourth class we've done, right, Julian? Yeah. Yeah, and they're all free. You can sign up. You just need an iTunes account. You sign up. They're about an hour long. There's drawing classes. There's graphic design classes. There's also uh, a Sphero class, and now the Sphero Droid class. It's really cool. Uh, good for beginners and advanced. Uh, and, and yeah, kids. adults and kids and grandparents, uh, especially like people like my grand, my parents who aren't very good at uh, using iPads and computers and stuff. And they teach you the basics and some of the advanced stuff. So uh, let's get uh, let's get to the Apple Store. So we checked in and we got here a little early so we went to the back where we could see the Star Wars stuff. They had the spirit droids, the drones underneath and also they had the new little bits RTD2 and they were just showing off um, the droids that are there. It was a really really cool setup. Uh, very impressed with the Apple Store. So they finally got us our droids and when we started we had to watch a quick little video of like the basic stuff. And then it pretty much gave us like a step-by-step -step program to how to do it. And we needed a little help in the beginning. Yeah, it was like a little backstory, right? Yeah. Like a story they had to watch, a Star Wars story about R2-D2. And then finally you got to the coding part and uh, we struggled a little bit, right? Yeah, and I had in the beginning. help. Yeah, so the beginning it was a little bit harder. Once the guy started helping us and showing us the enter line and the commas and a yeah. couple of the punctuation marks he had to make, it got a little bit easier for Julian and Eric as well, so... Alright, so this is the first code that I did. I got him to get into set stance and bring out his uh, leg that makes him move. So, I had to make the roll function greater than 80 and I had it at 5 because I didn't know that, how much to put it at. So then I get it to roll in a few seconds. Yeah, this is good. This is like your first completion. You can see the instructor in front of you. He's kind of happy that you got it right. So he's like thumbs up. So nice job, Julian. So I didn't complete the code for the last time, so now I had to make it stop roll. So this was the stop roll function, but what I needed to do was put a wait before it stops so that it would drive, wait three seconds, and then stop. So Eric's giving, a sh giving it a shot for the first um, program, and he made it go backwards and it spinned around, and it almost went across the table, so he was being a little careful. And this now he's the gonna, second try, yeah, right? this is the second try. And uh, it's really cool. See how the arm drops down on R2-D2 when he walks? It's the yeah, coolest thing ever. Yeah, sometimes you don't notice that in the movie, but he does it. Yeah, you just don't pay attention to it. We, Julian asked me off camera, he's like, does that happen in the movie? I'm like, yeah, that's how R2-D2 moves. His arm drops down. It's just really cool. What was that, a head spin? Getting his yeah, head to spin around? Oh, it's backwards right now? But it yeah. still it spins, though. But really cool. Coding the R2-D2s uh, was definitely uh, a lot of fun. It was neat. And it's totally different than your regular Sphero, because uh, this is just a different uh, setup with the R2-D2. Alright, so now they brought out the BB units, and I was coding BB8, and Eric was coding BB9E. So right now I was just setting up to configure it. And then if you tap on that, so that will aim it with the little blue dot you'll see, just like the Sphero. I can see the dot. And then when you tap on that, it'll let you drive it. Now what's cool is they have AR features on here too, um, and different options where you could draw, like, draw a path too. Now he will fly off the table, so I'm yeah. going to put him on the floor. And then you'll see BB-9E actually lights up, which is cool. Alright, so now we're giving it a shot to drive on the ground. Uh, we both took a few seconds to get started. Mine was facing the wrong way, and it started going crazy. And it was just spinning around. Eric was trying to get it set up. <laughs> I just crashed into him for a second. Yeah, and the sun was setting, and it was uh, so you got all the shadows, and it was really crowded in the store. Probably about 100 people there. So now Eric started to get things going and he was going pretty fast and we were zooming around the room and it was pretty crowded to do this so it was pretty like dangerous. Yeah, there must have been, I don't know, 30 employees, yeah. 100 customers, 
And this is the interface, right, John? Yes, this is the interface where you can do single commands. And on the top, there's other like there's other the like top, sections too. that you can do. Sorry, I'm and you the lady lady just kicked, okay. it, kicked it. <laughs> and then we move things uh, after that under the table. Yeah. Kind of limited though, because again, the crowd was just insane there, and everybody was watching us too at the same time. So all the people that were watching us, but uh, really cool, a lot of fun. Would have loved to have it with less crowd, so you guys could have really yeah. just zipped around the whole store, but uh, just not possible, and maybe never possible because the Apple Store is always completely packed. So. so now we're back on the table and we just got to look at the R2-D2 droid in the driving mode. Right now, he gave um, a girl the, the R2-D2 to play with to try it out and we're about to get a chance in a second so she's just driving around having fun with it. Yeah, and the steering on that, you like that better than the, yeah, than the BB-8 little, and BB-9, right? It's a little easier and it's more like steady rather than like it just zipping around. So if we were to get one, we'd probably get this. Yeah, we had all come to that agreement that the R2-D2 one is the our favorite of the three. So I got the R2-D2 droid first, and I just did the speed, uh, the double speed button. That was pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty fast then. He moves pretty fast. Now you finally have control of it, right? Yeah, it's so steady and easy to drive. And Eric's Eric's being cautious. Very cautious. He still has the BB-9E uh, e with him and stuff. And then the instructor uh, shows us some tips here. You can also, if you want to move his head around, you just move this left or right. Oh, cool. Yeah. Wait, his foot, his leg lowered on by himself? Yeah, when you start driving it, it'll oh, yeah. it's cool. Cool. How does it fall over? Uh, one of those. I think it might be the X. Alright, so now we're reconnecting our droid because we got disconnected. We have to choose from all the droids. If you have multiple ones, you choose the one that you want. Yeah, they all run on the same app. Yeah, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's really cool. Out of the blocks, you put the block in and you tell them what to do. Try the top right one. Maybe the bottom left one? There you go. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. You can get hit it and wait a second for it to send the message. Yeah, maybe it'll. That's the one. one. Yup. Right here. So that was pretty much our Star Wars Hour. It was pretty cool and we had a lot of fun. And if you want to sign up for any Apple classes, they're online at apple.com slash today. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Later, guys.